Nobody does Star Wars like the power of the Force from Kenner. Hey, what's going on, Star Wars fans? Welcome to another episode of Power of the Force Fridays. We're going for a musical theme for the next few weeks. Um, we're going to be taking a look at the Max Rebo Band, um, Jabba's Palace Entertainers, uh, two packs. So these two were packaged together back in 1997, I believe, off the top of my head. Anyway, it's from the 90s. So we've got Max Rebo here and the Rodian Dota Bodona Widu. It's not an easy name to say. Um, <laughs> we're just going to go with it. Um, yeah, so far these figures have not been re-released since. Um, maybe repacked. Maybe Max Rebo. I don't think Dota has been repacked yet. There may have been something along the line. I haven't paid much attention. But um, still, I've, in terms of display, they still hold up well today. They're fine. Um... Yeah, we'll be looking at the other two packs in the next couple of weeks, so stay tuned for those. So we have here Max Rebo, the blue elephant. Uh, we now know, as of a few years ago, there was some artwork released of Max Rebo, and the diaper and the legs <laughs> was a creative choice by Kenner back in the, I guess, early 80s. Um, because they didn't have access to all the material that we have these days in terms of behind the scenes material and stuff like that. So basically Max Rebo in canon as he stands today, as he sits. I like the diaper. I like that the diaper has a belt. I like the belt has a nice big gold ring around it to hold his diaper up. Um, <laughs> as much as I like that. In canon, this is basically Max Rebo. So he does not have legs. He is not sitting in his piano. He is sitting on his bum and he plays with his legs. And if I quick, ever so quickly bring up the book here, I hope you focus your attention to Max Rebo here. Now you can see he is sitting on a base. He has a bit of a bum. That's his bum, his head sort of hangs over the front, and these are his hand legs. So yeah, interesting. <laughs> it was an interesting revelation to find that out a few years ago. Um, yeah, I still don't know how I feel about it. I'm here for it. I do like his legs. I'm all for the uh, interpretation of toy designers needing to get a figure out that uh, does have some play value, uh, can run around. I don't know what he's going to do. His, uh, his appearance in the Robot Chicken Star Wars specials is memorable. And the fact that the accessory he comes with, which is his keyboard, is really cool. I do like this. Um, I don't have the original Kenner version. I'm not sure whether there are any differences or whether this was a, you know, a recast of that original sculpt from, from the Kenner days. I'm not 100% sure. I'll have to get someone with uh, far more knowledge than I do on Kenner to, to let me know. Um, the fact that all these keys, you know, sort of got enough flex in them to move. The one thing missing is the big sort of speaker that sort of sits on the back, but it doesn't matter too much. You know, this is a... This is kind of cool. We all get the, we all understand, you know, that's, that's Max Rebo. That's what he does. He, he sits in his keyboard and spin him around. I mean, he even got a appearance in Book of Boba Fett. We're assuming he survived because he wasn't there in the, on the day of the explosion or he wasn't shown. So yeah, we'll see how Max Rebo goes in the future, whether he shows up again. But, uh, yeah, his fate is yet to be determined. So here is Dota, blah, 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 blah. I'm not even going to try to say his name. Again, sort of really basic articulation. You know, you can't move his legs much just because of his orange gown there. Um, arms are pretty much pre-posed, uh, much like most of these, these Max Rebo band uh, figures. But it's nice to see another Rodian Back when they were all green. Now we've got all sorts of different colored Rodians these days. 
it's not a bad not a bad sculpt at all on the head I think it looks quite good does this guy need an upgrade probably not and you probably do do with him you know he's a display piece um, more so than a than an action figure you're gonna go run around in the yard with and play with you know maybe you could give him a lightsaber but instead he comes with this instrument I'm not sure what the name of it is which is fine I'm going to consult okay so as I'm recording I'm looking this is called a slither horn I am looking on Google I do have a page open and I can confirm this pack um, these all these figures were repacked in the 30th anniversary collection as a full a full set of band members so it has been done it's just sort of showing up as I'm googling as I'm speaking so I, I figured they probably would have gotten a re-release at some point um, but yeah I'm, I'm just familiar with the power of the force set because uh, that's the set I bought some years some years ago now Yeah, I kind of like the, I like the orange. There's some sort of yellow highlights in the fabric. Not that it's fabric, but you know what I mean. It looks pretty good. So just a couple of groovy members from the Max Rebo band, named after His Majesty himself, Maximilian Rebo. I don't think his name is actually Maximilian. I'm just guessing. Uh, so yeah, the other two packs are. Um, Joe Yowza and Cy Snoodles, the uh, vocalists, and then Droopy McCall and Barkwin Dan. So we'll have those come up in the next next two weeks, I suppose. Next week, I haven't decided which order I'm going to do them in. It's probably whatever side, whatever, whichever ones I grab off the shelf first. But um, yeah, wanted to showcase some of Jabba's finest musicians, Galaxy's finest musicians. This has been Max Rebo and Dodo Bondabladeb. I'm not even going to attempt to try and say that name ever again. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you all can join me next week for another episode of Power of the Force Fridays. Have a great weekend, everyone, and we'll see you again. May the Force be with you always.